friends of Mindful Monday. Welcome to our class today. This is Tamara Vodovos, and I am here thanks to the University of California and the Liberal Department. Today's class, Mindful Monday, focuses on mindful meditation and also bringing that mindfulness that we cultivate in the meditation into our movement practice. So it's a very relaxed, slow pace, and easy to follow class. And hopefully it'll bring you a sense of ease and flow with the theme that we will approach today, which is falling into this change of the seasons and into uh, falling into a rhythm of ease and flow and allowing ourselves to change with the seasons as opposed to resisting it. It's more about surrendering and really feeling what it is that our body needs for in preparation of the colder, shorter days coming in. So we will start in a seated meditation. So there's a few ways that you can um, sit on the floor. <clears throat> Today I am going to use a yoga block and a cushion on top. And that is gonna give me a little bit of left. So what we want is, what we mostly want is for our hips to be a little bit higher than our knees. One way to sit is by straddling our seat like I'm doing here. I'm straddling the cushion, the block is underneath to give me a little bit more of a firm lift. Knees bent, feet back. So this position is can be very comfortable for some of us. If you uh, don't have a lot of ankle flexibility, it might be a little bit uncomfortable on the ankles. Another option is of course the classical cross-legged position. And there's a few ways to uh, adjust here. Of course, first, make sure that your hips are a little bit higher than the knees. Another thing you can do is put cushions under the knees if, you, if your knees are still up here. The important thing is to give your body uh, support where it can relax into. If there's no support, then the body is going to be trying to hold itself up and that will will create tension. We want to find a place where we can actually let go. And if seating, seated, being seated on the floor is not comfortable to you at all, you can always go and sit on the edge of the sofa or a seat, just don't lean back. Okay, so now that we found our seated posture, we'll take a few uh, breath and movement exercises to really settle in to this seated posture before we start our meditation. Very simple movements. I've kind of, I've condensed it down to three different movements, taking three breaths in these three different um, directions. And it's, an, it's a simple formula, and I hope that maybe this helps you to remember it so that you can do it by yourself at home when you want to meditate and you're still a little bit uncomfortable in your body and you need a little bit of, you need like a gateway to get into that meditation mood. These three sets of three breaths, three of three, can be an easy way to remember. Uh, and to practice at home, so just to settle into that meditation. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> First three breaths, inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, releasing the arms down. Now what's really important here is, yes, to move with the breath, so as I start inhaling, the arms start to lift. 
And as I start exhaling, the arms start going down. And I continue the movement all the way to the end of the exhale. Inhale. Just keep inhaling all the way to the end of the movement. And last one, exhale down. Inhale up. And release. So that was the first movement. Second movement, side bending. Inhale, reach up and over. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale to the other side. Exhale to center. So that's one. And let's go twice more to each side. Inhale to reach. Exhale to return. Inhale all the way, all the way. Top of the inhale. Exhale. Empty, full. Inhale. Reach, reach, reach. Empty completely. Last one. Empty. Now the third movement. Inhale, reach up. On the exhale, turn, twist, reach for the opposite knee, look back. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the other side. Twice more to each side. And finish here. So there you go. Three sets of three breath movement exercises to get you ready for your meditation. So now you can set the timer to however long you would like to meditate and just relax and let go into your meditation. So for today's meditation theme is a sense of surrendering into an ease and flow as we transition into the new season of fall the temperature starts to drop the days get a little bit shorter every day and our body starts to also adapt change and drop in to these changes so in the meditation that we'll have in a moment the invitation is to really feel that release and you can feel that by relaxing your body and really letting it drop down into the seat and that sense of release is kind of that that relaxing and letting go that the trees do with the leaves so the leaves the trees they surrender and they let go and they let all the leaves come down to the earth where they will become um, the compost and they will become the fertile soil for the new seasons to come. So that surrendering, that gifting, that letting go 
has a, a really beautiful purpose, which is renewal. So every time we let go or we shed a part of us that no longer fits, like an old shirt that we no longer like, we don't want to use it, maybe there's some tears in it, and we discard it. But that releasing, that shedding of that layer is opening space, in this case in your closet, for a new wonderful piece of clothing that you will absolutely love too. So if you don't let go of the old ones, you won't have space for the new ones. And we already know this, especially us uh, here in the Northern Hemisphere where we grew up with seasons. This is a natural process of life. So let's just feel that delicious sense of surrender and letting go as we ease our way into the transition of the season. Close your eyes. And follow your exhales all the way to the end. And as you come to the end of your exhale, allow yourself to relax into the space of emptiness. And allow yourself to kind of relax and drop into not only the emptiness, but that letting go, that release. That shedding as we release all the air out of our lungs. Let the inhale come in naturally and soft without gasping or reaching for air, but just as a natural process of renewal. Let yourself be soothed in that surrender, in that focus on the exhale maybe even finding a little pause at the end of the exhale where you remain completely empty of air.
Take a deep breath. Exhale through your mouth. And slowly drop your chin towards your chest. Open your eyes. Open your hands. Take in the view of your body, this external shell that contains our soul that is constantly in a process of shedding and renewal. Take a deep breath, reach the arms up. And exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. And have a moment of gratitude for these changes, for these seasons, for the cycles. Without these cycles, everything would be stagnant. Nothing, there would be no motion. So all these cycles are a beautiful miracle of life and we're part of it. So let's come off of our seat. <clears throat> but keep your cushion um, nearby. We'll use them for some restorative poses towards the end of our session. And let's come to lay on our back. I will play us some music from DJ Soul Rising. Okay. Let's come to lay on our back. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And a few gentle squeeze and release with the knees. Squeeze on the exhale. Release and allow the inhale to come in. So it's very subtle, it's very gentle. couple more squeeze and exhale release to inhale last one hold each knee in one hand and draw big circles with your knees taking them apart back together and around big circles Change direction. And bring your feet down to the floor. And with your feet about hip width apart, where you can just touch your heels with your fingertips. On your inhale, wave the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the arms back down by your side. Now add the lift of your hips as you inhale and reach up and over. Exhale, slowly articulate your spine one vertebra at a time until you come back down to the floor. Let's do three more. Lifting with the inhale. And slowly releasing down with the exhale, nice and slow. Let's do two more. Wonderful. Squeeze the knees 
back into the chest. And taking the hips to a 90 degree angle, bring the knees all the way down to the right. Open the left arm to the left. And hold your knees on the right. Now there's something that we can do here, which is bring a cushion between the knees to add a little bit of comfort to the hips. Once we have that set, with your left hand, bring it by your side. On your inhale, reach your fingertips up overhead, palm facing up. And on your exhale, wave the arm back down to your side. Open the chest, reach up on the inhale. Exhale, back down. So I'm drawing a half circle with the left arm, trying to reach the, the all five nails down to the floor as much as possible. Let's do two more. Let's change to the other side. You can, if you have that cushion between your knees, you can just take it over now to the left. Open the chest. And I will draw that half circle with the right arm. Inhale, reaching up, up, up. Exhale, waving it back down. Go slow. Following long inhales and long exhales. Let's do three more. Come back to center, remove the cushion, and let's actually, let's rock on our spine, hold the back of the knees, and rock on your spine, maybe even reaching your toes up and overhead to touch the floor. up to seated. Come to all fours. Sway a little bit side to side. Let your head drop. Release the shoulders, the hips, the spine. Make big circles with your body. Go in the other direction. one hand on the inhale slide your fingertips up the inside 
of the arm and finish extending your fingers up. Exhale to reset. Inhale, go to the other side. Slow. Open the chest before you extend the arm. Extend your left leg, bring the heel down, open, sorry, the right side, no, left side, left leg extends, left arm reach up and over, bend the elbow, support the base of the skull and press back into the hand, creating a nice stretch in the side body. Release, and let's go to the other side. Support the head, press back. to downward dog with your feet wide, knees bent. Extend the spine and bend one knee, then the other, allowing your hips to shift side to side. Keep your feet wide, knees bent. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Hold on to opposite elbows and sway side to side. Hmm. And release. Keep the knees bent as you roll your spine up to standing. Standing with your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Allow the knees to have a, a little bend. Bring your hands in front of your heart, palms open. In this gesture of releasing, of giving, of letting go. And we'll take a deep breath and take the palms back. Bring the thumbs behind your head. Palms together. And exhale, bringing them together in front of the heart. Inhale. Exhale. We'll show it sideways. Inhale. This time on your exhale, fold in. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, pause. Inhale, open up. Spin the thumbs together behind the head. Exhale, bend the knees, bow forward. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, pause. 
Inhale, spin the hands open. Thumbs meet behind the head. Exhale, bend the knees, fold in. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, pause. And let's do two more. hands to your body, to your chest and your belly. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a few deep breaths here. Just feeling into your body, sensing what does your body need? at this moment. How can you nurture and support your body through the transition of the seasons? Maybe there's a delicious fall food that comes into mind. I don't know, maybe some warm pumpkin soup. I'm thinking about pumpkin lattes. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Exhale through your mouth, release your hands. Inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, take the arms wide, bend the knees, hinge the hips back, touch the floor. Inhale, extend the spine, look forward. And exhale, ground your hands and walk your feet back or your hands forward to downward dog. And on your inhale, come up onto your tippy toes, lift your belly. On the exhale, bend the knees, take the hips back, extend the spine. Inhale, up on tippy toes, lift the belly. Exhale, bend the knees, extend the spine. Let's do three more. Take your hands now to the floor and take them wide where your elbows are bent about 90 degrees. Lift your chest so it's just hovering off the ground. Lift one leg, bend the knee, open the hip and reach your toes far behind you, crossing over to the other side. And Alternate side to side. Inhale to reach the leg behind you. Exhale to reset in the center. Keep going side to side.
back to center. Take your left arm out to the left, palm facing down. Bend the right elbow, bend the right knee, lift and open the right leg, reach it all the way back. Maybe even catching the right foot with the left hand. <sighs> Hold here for a few breaths. Option to roll the right arm around and slide the fingers under the waist. Let's go to the second side. Right arm out to the right, palm facing down. Lift the left leg and reach it back. Option to catch the foot with the hand behind you. Option to wrap the left arm around the low back and slide your fingertips between the waist and the floor. Let yourself completely surrender and drop here. drop into the floor. Bend your knees and sway your feet side to side. Surrender, drop in here. Exhale through your mouth. And slowly sit up. Reach one hand to the floor behind you. Inhale, lift the arm, lift the hips. Exhale to change sides. 
Inhale, open up. Go side to side. Once more to each side. reach up and exhale dive down the center touch the floor come forward to downward dog pedal the feet bring your knees down and sit take your feet a little bit wider than your hips knees bent about 90 degrees and shift side to side and make sure that both knees come down to the floor and that the inside knee matches the arch of the foot next to it side to side so let your hips shift as much as they need to to allow the knees, both knees, to come down to the floor. And the next time that your knees come to the left, make sure that knee matches the foot. Lean the left hand into the floor. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down and shift to the other side. Inhale, up. Exhale, to the other side. Inhale, up. Keep going with your breath. to the left bring the hips down both hands to the floor and now walk behind you twist 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 when you can't twist anymore bring the cushion close to your belly close to your torso and drape yourself over make a pillow with your hands give your head some support here 
and let yourself completely drop in and surrender. shift to the other side. Slowly come up, shift your knees to the other side, lift the hips, bring them down, and walk your hands now all the way to the right. Keep the cushion close to your belly, and then drape yourself over, make a pillow with your hands or bring in another cushion to support your head and let yourself drop in here. Tilt to stand just a little bit more so we're focused on the floor. All right, so let's gather all the cushions you have available so that we, we can create um, a pretty good support here to come into a reclining hero pose. So it might be a little bit intense for some of us um, if you have any issues in your knees or your ankles that um, don't allow this to be comfortable at all, then the alternative is to come into butterfly legs or diamond legs where your heels are quite away from your hips. So this is another option if what we're gonna do just doesn't work for you. The invitation is to come to sit with your knees wide and feet towards each other. And we'll use all the cushions we have available and even uh, if you have a, <clears throat> a yoga block or a few yoga blocks, you can use the blocks also to give you a little bit more of a lift here. So I'm putting the block down first and I'm using all the cushions I have. So I have three cushions. And we want our head to be supported. So keeping as many cushions available as possible to add more as needed. So start slow, leaning back. Lift your hips and tuck the tail and the the butt cheeks under. So you're like cradling your butt cheeks with your feet, more or less. 
keep the knees wide, lift and tuck, keep descending and test it out. Make sure that it's okay, that there's no sharp sensation in the knees or in the low back. So if you feel any sharp pinching in the low back, come back, add more cushions. I ran out of cushions here, but you could add more cushions behind you so that you are in a more upright position. So adjust to where it's comfortable for you. So we can rest here for about two minutes. If you need to come out at any point, please feel free to do so. You can come out and go into the diamond shape with your legs if you need to at any point. And take deep breaths and completely let your body weight drop in and surrender. the same way we came in and come forward to child's pose our 
ribs into the floor. Letting the exhale come out all the way to the end. Full surrender here. And I invite you to stay here resting and breathing, long exhales, as long as you need to. And inviting that sense of, of letting go, of releasing, of shedding, of creating space for renewal that is soon to come and really enjoying this time, this fall season as it rolls in. Just enjoying the crisp air, the delicious foods, maybe wearing that nice cozy sweater and the boots that you've been keeping in the corner of the closet, just waiting for the cool weather to come in. And with this, I say goodbye and thank you and have a lovely rest of your week. I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.